Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me in my super fun workout today. Uh, I will put a couple of disclaimers, I guess. Yes, I'm wearing these pants. I stopped wearing these pants uh, for anything other than deadlifts. I was planning on deadlifting, but I had to change my routine a little bit for an uh, embarrassing reason. I'm not going to tell you. I might tell you later. <laughs> so I had my deadlift pants on. And, and the only reason I don't wear these squatting is because someone said something not nice to me before. And uh, these are my favorite pants. So I braved it. And, uh, well, there was nothing much to do because I made the decision. Um, I made the decision too late to change my um, routine. So, oh, yeah, please watch till the end. <laughs> I made the decision too late to switch from a deadlift. I'm doing the deadlift tomorrow. I had to change things and I was just stuck, uh, stuck squatting in my deadlift pants. So, uh, yeah. So it says this workout was really fun. And I'm going to say that snarkily because if snarkily is a word, I'm going to say it snarky. And that's because somebody said my workout should not be fun. Uh, your workout should not be, no. If you're looking for fun, then find a man or go bowling. The workout should not be fun, or you are not working hard enough. Well, I mean, come on. We all think this, I think a lot of us that are obsessed with this, any type of lifting, whether it be powerlifting or bodybuilding, we do think it's fun in our own weird way. So that's just stupid. Uh, I know I'm working hard enough, but I do find it fun. I'm also the type of person that found the military fitness training really fun. I was having the time of my life. I like that kind of, that physical work to me, the hard physical work. It's not fun if it's not hard. So that's actually the opposite of what that stupid comment said. Because uh, then, then it's boring and pointless. It's the hard work that's really fun. This, this uh, I really want to say, I really want to start swearing, but I can't because of monetization. It's so hard for me not to swear. <laughs> um, I find this sh -t really fun and hard. Uh, so bite me and just like go bowling. That's not fun. If you're looking for fun, go bowling. Um, that would not be fun. Uh, laser tag, maybe. I don't really find bowling that fun because I can't, I have to do it between my legs. I don't find it fun. I did it for my birthdays. I guess that was okay, but you're with a bunch of people. I wouldn't just go out and do it for fun. I do this for fun. Oh my goodness. We're just circling back around or find a man. Like it's just an Easter egg hunt or whatever. Like it's so easy. Just go out, go out and find a man for fun. No, there's, they're not around. They're hiding or whatever. Or they run away. They run away from me uh, when I start trying to flirt. So anyways, well, that was annoying. So here's what I want to actually talk about today. Uh, oh, yeah. But I guess just I thought this workout was great, even though it was uh, even though it switched around and I'm a little bit out squatted. Uh, very happy with my form, very happy with my numbers, very happy with my strength today and my mood. So all in all, it didn't really matter that I switched things around. Hopefully deadlifts go fine tomorrow. So here's what I want to talk about today. I know that I used to talk about Frazier, Dr. Frazier Crane. I used to talk about a lot because I was really in the Dr. Frazier Crane mode because I was watching the episodes like four episodes a night. And I replaced it with SVU because I finished watching all 11 seasons and the remake season. So then I kind of got out of the Frasier mode and went into Detective Stabler mode, which is fine. We all get into different modes. I was also very deep in a Jack Ryan mode for a while. Um, so whatever mode I'm in is whatever mode I'm in. But right now, I want to take, I take a moment, step back, and think about Frasier. <clears throat> what I want to think about is I remember... I think it was the 8th or ninth season, and it had dawned on Frasier. They made, they, somebody made a comment saying that there was an anniversary of when his dad moved in with him. It was like the eight-year anniversary of when his dad moved in with him. And he started, he was really miserable that episode when he realized that, and he started being a bigger jerk to his dad. At the beginning, him and his dad we're not we're not getting along but then they ended up getting close and it was they didn't argue so much anymore it was just a different kind of relationship but Frazier was being a jerk again 
to his dad and then they were arguing nonstop because Fraser was upset because he realized throughout these eight years or essentially at this point he realized that his dad was kind of like his life partner because throughout all the many seasons and the trials and tribulations he never was successful in relationships or dating very much um, most of the time most of the time it seemed like a long-term relationship if his if the actress playing his girlfriend lasted three episodes so it just never worked and he was always very very like me I mentioned before he's my spirit animal whatever that means um, that he always thinks that person right away he thinks they're the one and he's all clingy and he's so excited and like um, feels so incredibly hopeful very very early on entering a new relationship probably just the same thing as me because you just want it so badly that whenever anything new comes your way there's just this thing in your heart that you want it so badly to work out that you fully believe within two seconds that you finally found your special person I mean you don't necessarily you obviously don't tell them that but you just hope for it in inside and that um you shut out all warning signs that is absolutely not going to be your special person. Um, you just ignore all of those things or block it out or fail to acknowledge all of the ways in which you are not actually compatible with this person. Um, but you just, because you just want it deep down, you just want it so bad. So maybe Frazier was doing that. I mean, he's a psychiatrist, so he'll have to figure that out himself. So many times I wish that I could book an appointment with Frazier, not Kelsey Grammer. Um, for him to help me, but anyway, so I guess now I'm losing my train of thought, but that's just kind of the way his, uh, his relationships played out. They just never worked out and he really, really wanted it. He wanted it as bad as I wanted. And so that's why he was a little bit miserable. He realized his dad's his life partner, um, because well, he was living with his dad and after all these years, his dad was who he came home to at the end of the day. His dad was who he ate meals with. Um, just all that kind of stuff. I get where he's coming from. And I kind of realized that my mom is my life partner. I don't, we don't live together, but we see each other every day. We do everything together. We do every shopping trip together. We walk together every day. We'll talk on the phone or we'll talk through messenger every day. And we have all, we do all the same stuff like, we're going to be, we're always watching the same show. So when I was watching Goliath with Billy Bob Thornton, she was watching Goliath with Billy Bob Thornton. When I was watching Jack Ryan, she was watching Jack Ryan. When I was watching now, currently, SVU, she's watching SVU. I have the first disc of the season. I finish my episodes. I give her the disc and she watches it. Then she returns it and then I give back the next one I just finished. And then we talk about them. And uh, we talk about Stabler crying, <laughs> and we'll talk about Stardew Valley, and uh, we always talk about what's you know what's going on with the farm. And I can share her. I just adopted a new dog from my farm. I have to. Sh I can share her the picture, and that's just what we do. We went to the Elvis impersonator concert together, and um, that's just what we do. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we're not the same age. We're like our brains are pretty much the same age because I don't know. It's just this weird, this weird phenomenon where we both have these tiny little legs and our brains are still kind of like children, <laughs> I guess, in the things that we laugh about. Um, I just kind of realized that us going for a walk it looks like two little kids <laughs> because we both are really, really short. She's a little bit taller than me. I'm 5'0", she's 5'2", um, but that's the way it is, she's my person, and that's, I'm not grumpy about that anymore, I mean, I used to kind of just, I think I was so frustrated that I could never get a guy that I would have some of those similar things that Fraser had towards his dad, now I don't have that, now I'm just grateful that I have somebody that I can share all those things with, um, and that I can also laugh with and uh, share all of my, you know, political opinions with, and um, just that, I don't know, special, 
It's a special person that you have all those things with, and I don't feel angry about that because some people will go their whole lives and not have it at all. And my only worry is that I won't have it forever. And that that's the only thing that bothers me is I won't have it for the rest of time. Um, but I'm grateful to have it all. Like I said, some people just don't have it. Some people don't have it for one minute. So I savor just every day now. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.